I'm out here in beautiful St. Augustine. Let's find out what the people think. Let's take it to the street. <laughs> what drew you to St. Augustine? We had a conference up here at a hotel. It's beautiful. It's got all these shops and I'm a huge toy fanatic. I just really love the people and the community and there's always something to do. I mean, I was born here. We moved here when I was like five years old. So. Oh, I live here. I've been living here for a few years. It's, it's magic drew me here. I've been living in Jacksonville for about 12 years and this is where I come to play. The historical architect of the buildings. Family. The friendly people. We've had a few client friends. They go down to the old city in the United States. The wonderful food. My grandson. Yep, family, family, family matters. What is your favorite place that you've eaten here? Oh. Probably the pizza we got earlier. It was from Antonio's. So we've only been to a couple places, but we went to the seafood place down, I don't even remember the okay. name of it. We had a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, we've had so many different places. St. George, oh, our favorite was Llama Restaurant. Llama, Phenomenal. Yeah, amazing. So much to see down here. Ooh, uh, probably ooh, Collage. Ooh. Collage Restaurant's my favorite. Okay. Uh, everything is really good there. Yeah, okay. they have a fabulous chef. Personally, for the daily meal, the seafood company, that Anchor Burger is off the chain. Oh, Michael's. By yeah, far. Michael's Tasting Room, absolutely, for sure. Maggiano's. There's a pizza place, I don't remember the name of it, but it's like further down and it's like in an alleyway. I think it might be called Pizza Alley, but it's really good. Pizza Alley's, Pizza Pizza Alley, yeah. yeah. I don't know, I've eaten at a lot of places here. Some top ones though, Taco Shop. Taco Shop is definitely Taco good. Pretty good. I've actually only eaten in one place and it was a hot dog parlor. Disappointment. Mojo is pretty good. There's okay. so many restaurants yeah. through yeah. What is your most memorable experience here in St. Augustine? Oh, it's just so much fun to meet so many people. It's okay. wonderful to, it's all about the people. Most memorable. Oh. New Year's Eve fireworks, those, those nights. Yeah, they go crazy. Yeah. And then 4th of July mm -hmm. on the Lions Bread. bread yeah, the 4th of July up here is amazing. Yeah. So any yeah. visitors that are thinking about planning a trip, come on out. Listening to some live music down, down the way here. Definitely the Ghostly Encounters tour we just did earlier in the night. Okay. It was really good. I was. Okay. We learned a lot of history. I walked into this toy store and they had a toy that was like $300 online and it was like $150 here. So I was really psyched to get that. The first date that I went on with someone really special. Well, downtown, St. Augustine, just walking around. Oh, taking my grandson to the Jumbo Shrimp. Yeah, for sure. How pet friendly have you found St. Augustine to be? Oh, extremely pet friendly. One thing that I would change, more dog parks. And uh, there's a couple dog parks that are actually here, but they need to be maintained a little bit more. I think the city needs to invest a little bit more in maintaining the grounds. Go, here you go, come on. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna play now. <laughs> Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. Leave your St. Augustine favorites in the comments below. Like and share, and we'll see you in the next episode.